Hey guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> okay, so you guys already know I'm Toya, founder and CEO of Olive Glow Aesthetics. And here we have our lovely guest today. Hey everybody. So I'm gonna let Cam introduce himself and let you guys know what he does, who he is, how to find him, etc. Yes, well thank you Toya for having me on your channel. Oh, I'm so nice. excited. Thank you guys for welcoming to the channel too. My name is Cameron, AKA Skin by Cam. I'm also a licensed esthetician here in Maryland, been an esthetician for going on two years now, oh my goodness. Yes, oh my God. Yes, but I do, I specialize in skin of color. I do facials, waxing, brow treatments. Um, but yeah, that's skin, a little bit about Skin by Cam. Right, okay guys. Okay, so we have like a little dialogue for you guys today. So we'll be discussing like yes. our journey, um, esthetician school, being solo estheticians and we're also part-time estheticians so that's yes. kind of like makes us different from everyone else because mm -hmm. we're not estheticians full-time so we're just going to talk a little bit about that so i have some questions here for you guys we're going to talk about our journey so far in our program like mm -hmm. how was it in our state well basically we weren't, we weren't in our state but yeah yeah how, how was it in virginia and just a little bit of how our program was and our experience in our program yeah so, so like you said, we our school was not in Maryland. We're mm -hmm. licensed here in Maryland, but we both actually went to school in Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, and how did you find out about the program? I did a lot of research. I did a lot of research, Cam. Like, oh my gosh. I was gonna go to like other schools here in Maryland. I was like, no. I don't know what made me fall in love with Aesthetics Institute, but. Yes, you know what? But like you said, I did do some research, but mm -hmm. it's a crazy story. I was actually working at Tyson's Corner at the time, okay. and the school isn't far from no. where the mall. Super so um, there was actually some students. I was on lunch, and there were some students oh. walking by, and one of the girls had caught my highlight because I had my highlight on. No she way. was like, yes, yeah, skinny. <laughs> And she just started talking to me about esthetician school mm -hmm. and like she was currently in the program okay. and I, I was already so fascinated with skincare and beauty and makeup and all of that. So she actually sparked my interest in wanting to go Dang. to that school in particular. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, you were working over that side. Yeah. Yeah. I was oh working at the Gap at the time. Yo, and... he was coming from work <laughs> to class. Yes. Like, oh my God. Pam was really working. Out. Yes. And we were both in the part-time program. Yes. Mm hmm no, our program was really amazing. I liked our instructor. She yes. definitely taught us a lot. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm happy I didn't go to like school in Maryland. I'm happy I chose yeah. Virginia. Um, just because Virginia has a little bit more opportunities. You can mm -hmm. do more in Virginia, so, like as far as like facials. Um, you can do more in Virginia than Maryland. So you're not really limited. So definitely check out Virginia if yes. you are in Maryland. So. And I definitely, it's, it's definitely a great investment too mm -hmm. because I think the pricing wise, it's it's pretty comfortable, Virginia to Maryland. But yes. like T said, like it's uh, you, the requirements are a bit higher in Virginia too. So yeah. I find that when you come over to Maryland, you're already more advanced. I would say yeah. they teach a little bit more. I feel like it's a little bit more hands on, mm -hmm. um, and it is more advanced. Like you do get to do a little bit more advanced treatment. So yeah, it ha definitely has its pros. You do, yeah. It's it's definitely yeah. Check it out. Check out our school. <laughs> Okay, so we definitely talked about how we found our program. Yeah. Um, so let's get into the pros and cons mm -hmm. of our program. Um, should we start off with the cons or the pros first? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like honestly there were more pros than cons there for is. me. There so is. we can do the cons. Let's do the cons first. Okay. There, for me there weren't really too many. Okay. We can do the cons when we go first or you go first. You go first. I'm gonna let you go first. I wanna okay. see where you go with it. <laughs> I would say one of the cons, well, okay, so I'm in the master program now, mm -hmm. yes. and like, I don't like the fact that you can't make up hours as much as we did in basic. Like, when we were in basic mm -hmm. program, we could make up out, like, hours, like, any weekend, but in the master program, you only can make up hours once a month, so I really don't oh, like Oh, wow. That. Yeah, it's crazy, Cam. It's crazy. Mm. Um, another con, I would say, is that... Honestly, basic didn't have that much cons. I'm not gonna like it, the school didn't have that much cons, honestly. Like, yeah, and that's why I was gonna say, speaking from your perspective, because mm -hmm. you're in the master's program right now. Yeah, I haven't started my master's program yet, but I'm itching to do it. Um, yeah. it's all just about timing, but yeah. Um, I would say one of the cons for for both of us, I guess, was distance. That was one of the main ones for me. Yeah, is that it is distance. a little bit further. 
Um, I did work part time out there. I was also coming from another job in Temple Hills, so oh, I was coming no. from far and having to drive back home at night was like, oh yeah, oh my goodness. That was really hard. I wish yeah. we had like study halls for us, like mm-hmm. part time people, because like once we drive back home, we are not picking yeah. up that book. Like we're tired. Yes. Like, so I think COVID saved us, though. I know. And that's another really interesting <laughs> thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. With the COVID class. So mm-hmm. literally, like, COVID happened, like, right in, like, the middle. Clinic, yeah. Of, like, yeah, right before we were about to go to clinic. clinic. So, yeah. yeah. And that's everything us. changed. Yeah. Everything we were changed. able to study more at home and mm-hmm. stuff like that and not drive back and forth. So, yeah, that was that was really good during that time. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, yeah, that's really all the cons. Yeah. That was like the main con mm-hmm. for me is at the distance. Um, yeah. And then I will also say, I, we didn't really get to see many other instructors until later on in the course. Yeah. I feel like I would have liked to been introduced to more of the instructors earlier on. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved our instructor. I, look, I, we, we about to get into the pros, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I wish I would have definitely got to meet more of the other instructors um, earlier on. Mm-hmm. And I wish we did clinic too in basics. Yeah. Then we would have liked Yeah, we didn't get that, that yeah. hands-on opportunity there. That is where we missed out a little bit. Yeah, but it wasn't their fault it was COVID. So. Yes. Yeah, that was the only thing. Yes. Okay, but yeah, let's get into the pros. Now let's talk about the pros. Um and our instructor, she's the goat. Yes. I think she's one of the like one of the best instructors that our Absolutely. school had. Because she kinda taught us like not only the like the theory of an esthetician, she kinda taught us how to run our business. Mm-hmm. Like solo esthetician. So I feel like that's how like we were more so comfortable like mm-hmm. being able to start our own businesses was because of her yeah so. she definitely gave you that business mindset like yeah. she would not let you forget Mm-mm. you're getting this education to do something with it yeah. and that is what i admired the most about her she did. um and she had her own business too and it was yes. growing her business so she definitely was able to speak from that perspective mm-hmm. and that was she was like when i tell you like i hold her so near and dear to no, me facts, yeah. oh my gosh l our instructor she mm-hmm. is she was amazing because i don't think she's currently an instructor no, there anymore she's not. But um, she was amazing, amazing. Yeah, she also taught us like um, other facials that we mm-hmm. didn't learn at our program. So yeah. she definitely offers classes, and I think she still does now. Yeah. But, oh, she does still. Yeah, that, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, so that would be really good. You know, it's, it was just better to have training from your instructor because you know mm-hmm. you're gonna get your money's worth rather than when you come out here new SD, you gotta find like. Oh, who class I want to take? Yeah. Like, do I want to pay this money with this person? <laughs> so it's kind of like sketchy, but like it was kind of good that we were able to have an instructor that you know we trusted. Yes, absolutely. And it wasn't expensive, so that was no, cool. no. Yeah. Um, and she was so cool like she was so personable that was one thing i loved about her you could just talk to her and she's a mentor like she's not just there to be an instructor she's truly a mentor so if you had business questions she was there for you if you had uh, questions about class or theory or whatever it was Mm -hmm. she was there to guide you through it and be a mentor so she was one of the main pros yes actually all the instructors there all of them there were were always pretty hands-on but she in particular um, was special yes like y'all like we were kind of like i'm not gonna say we were broke broke but we were like broke students you okay so, like girl yes. we will order <laughs> we will order like all of our like supplies or like our facial products yep. as a class so mm-hmm. it was kind of and we couldn't really well i think we could order it but i don't think we could order certain things yeah. so like our instructor ordered it for us like as a whole so it's like we didn't have to worry about paying shipping fees yes. or like taxes so it was kind of good that we were able to like you know, she, she looked out. She looked out, Yeah, because yes. we were like, we can't afford this. <laughs> we, we got the coins. We got the coins. I can't pay for Estimax. Like, it was, okay. it was, what? <laughs> them jelly masks, y'all. <laughs> Yo, them they need a chill. I know. With them right. But I understand. I get it. I yeah. get it. I yeah. get it. So, yeah, she was definitely, uh, she was great for that. Um, Another pro I can definitely say is that the payment plans. I don't know. Were you yes. okay? Yes. Okay. Go put it. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. So don't be scared if you can't like yes. afford to pay for it. Mm-hmm. They give you opportunity to pay for it. So yeah, you can yeah. apply for financial aid. Mm-hmm. So. 
they walk you through that whole process. As T mentioned, they have a payment plan. So mm -hmm. do not be afraid to start your journey financially. Like th that shouldn't be a barrier to stop you from wanting to start your journey. Yeah. Um, they definitely have options. If you got to get you a part-time job, I was working two jobs at the you time. Were. So yeah. definitely do what you have to do. But um, yeah, they definitely have opportunities for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do. They definitely do. And I think that's most of the pros yeah. that we kind of went over with our mm -hmm. school. But definitely drop down any questions below and then me and Cam will definitely answer. Yes. Okay, so. What else we got? The next question is transitioning to solo SP. Oh, so, yes. This is where we really now, about to get into it. <laughs> so now we done with school. Like, we passed state board. Um, but actually, we could talk a little bit about the mm -hmm. state board. Process. I do want to know about your experience because I don't really think we got to like so. talk afterwards about your experience. Yeah, we just did. Um, it. So no, let's yes, let's get into that state board. Okay. I, want, I want to talk about that. You first. Oh. <laughs> State board. Actually, one because we did this around COVID, mm -hmm. it took a long time for us to like get scheduled for a class. Mm -hmm. But I'm um, actually getting there. Um, it was pretty calm. Like it wasn't too many people, which was really good. Mm -hmm. um, I think our group maybe had like eight people altogether, maybe ten. In um, your in your testing? Yeah. Dang, I only had two or no really? three. Yeah, yeah we have like a table on this side, a table on this side. Yeah, we have like 10 people. Dang. Yeah, because I remember the table where we had to sit. That's the mm -hmm. first thing that we do is set up our wax pots. Okay. And our, the, we had a full table. It was like, yeah, 10 wax pots over there. We Dang. all had our own. That would have um, made me nervous. I, I was. Yeah, that would have made me I nervous. I was, but That's I also funny. was like... I remember when they were mm -hmm. like getting us ready for a state board. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a good thing because their eyes had to be at multiple stations. Okay, so then that's good. Not that then it, you know you don't want to mess up, but like if you happen to, like it's less likely that you were they were to catch you. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it was it was pretty tense. I will say it was pretty yeah, tense. That's, that's a lot of but I liked how they broke everything down. Mm -hmm. Like it was little like modules that you would do. Mm -hmm. um, eyes were on you like in particular for certain parts of it but mm. um i would say it was it was a pretty honestly it wasn't too I, I think i was more nervous than what the experience really was it really wasn't that deep like they over prepare you for this stuff yeah um the studies is mm -hmm. like you're literally doing uh your practical at yes. school back to back to mm -hmm. back so there's no way you can fail to yes practice. at all like theory is kind of on you if you're not really studying mm -hmm. but like practical there's no way you're failing how did you do on your theory oh i did good oh wait did i i think i got like an 80 something okay good yes yeah it was like it was like 80 but yes. it wasn't bad it was honestly i was i flew through that theory part no theory <laughs> <laughs> there you took my time. <laughs> only be, only reason why I was so nervous, I was not nervous for practical mm -hmm. at all. But theory, I was really? definitely yes, mm -hmm. I was definitely nervous for theory because it's like you go into the testing site and it's all these other people like that is it's, true. it's no, it, you don't really know who's what test each person is yeah. taking. So you go in there and it's like, dang, all these people in here taking tests mm -hmm. and it's like it's quiet. Real quiet. <laughs> So you're like, this is the real deal. And then like, you literally have to look at your computer because mm -hmm. it's like other people are taking other tests. So it's just like, and you don't know what the next question is. Like you literally yes. have to answer that question and go to the next one. So mm -hmm. it was making me nervous because it's like, my test just kept going. I'm like, dang, we like, it ain't it stopping. Ain't <laughs> Like, dang, so. Oh my gosh, you know what I will tell you? Something okay. crazy happened during my theory. Ooh. Like, they have, like, the power strips are, like, underneath. Okay. And I'm tall. Like, my legs are long. Yeah, long Why I kick the power strip? Oh. Yeah, but it's... It, it like saved my test so okay. luckily like i logged right back in and it, it started me right back up but i was panicking oh, I was I like, I should, oh my god i did not want to have to start yeah. all over i was like i was too my far in been... i was so scared but oh my gosh oh my god i would have yes. been so nervous mm. yeah so yeah the tests just keep going and going mm -hmm. until you finish and then it pops up at the end yeah so that was nerve wracking for me. And also for my practical, I had to drive almost two hours oh, to go to like Richmond. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. went far. I went far, like, I feel, yeah, we definitely yeah. took that test at different times. Way different times. Yeah, and I had way to literally different. go, I think it was Chesapeake. It was either Chesapeake Girl, you or went Richmond. far. Yeah, I went far, y'all. I drove two and a half, oh, God. two hours just to go take a practical exam. And like, that was to take it as soon as you could because mm -hmm. otherwise you would have to wait so long. I think yeah. I did mine. 
I think it was in Alexandria or something. It was, oh, close. It was close. I was close. I didn't have to go that far. Yeah, That's luckily. Had 10 people in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, luckily I didn't have to go that far, so um, yeah, I, and that was pretty soon. That was I. I remember I scheduled mine like as soon as I could. Yeah. Like I would just like just get me in. What's your start date? Um, October. October. Oh, so I yeah. guess they still start you October, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yes, yeah, October. Dang, so why did I go so far? And that is crazy. Yeah, that's but crazy. I think I don't know. I don't Maybe know it was I don't know. Blame it on COVID. I know. Yeah, COVID had everything <laughs> like messed up. Everything. But yeah. That was, yeah, I feel like my theory was my most, like, heart, like, I was pounding during mm -hmm. the baby part. Yeah. But, yeah, so easy, because I feel like you need, like, a 75, or yeah. it was a 70, 75, mm -hmm. something. But, y'all, it's, it's doable. Yeah. I promise you. Because I'm, I was reversed. I was more nervous about the practical over really? the theory. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Yeah. You was in the books a lot. I was. I was. Even though you was part-time, you was in the books. Yeah. Really I was were. definitely in the books. I was in the books. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh and another thing i did not want to really do waxing y'all like i more yes. so i knew i wanted to do facials so you did. especially the all the waxing part i was like i do not want to do this <laughs> not want to do this but the facial part i was all ready for it he was he really was he knew everything about yeah. so i was like i'm a waxer so i'm like oh, i don't care about no facials though i want to learn this and if you take the master institution program all you learn is facials yes yes like that's why no i'm so waxing. excited i'm so excited <laughs> Yes, you, you're you're gonna love it. Yeah, you're definitely gonna love it. But yeah, that was that was state board. Um, yes, what we got next? The other one is. I guess from the state board going into being a solo SD. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Our experiences. Mm -hmm. Did you start right away? I pretty much did. Yeah, yeah. I pretty much started right away. Yeah. Um, After I got my license. And that definitely has some pros and cons too. Like Expensive. I know some of our solo SDs um, started from home. Yep. Um, I know I started from home, mm -hmm. and Same. that definitely comes with its pros and cons of its own. Um, I haven't really like it. I did not either. I did not. I either. don't. I don't think anyone would kind of like it just because mm -hmm. you have you start to get like randoms. Yeah. And it's like. I don't want this random person in my house. Like yeah. this is my comfort space. Mm -hmm. So that was the biggest con for me. That was the biggest con for me. And another one is that because you start getting random people, mm -hmm. um, if especially if it's their first time, like it's the all about that perception. Now it's like, oh, this is like a home based business. Especially if they didn't know I that or didn't do the that. research to yeah. know that it was a home based business. Like they may look at your business a different way. And they do. That's mm -hmm. so true. They and then you may not be able to attract like a More certain people. audience mm -hmm. when they find out or know that it's a home based business. You can be amazing, but when you have a home based business, people definitely look at it differently. They do. Yeah. I feel like people like it when it's more not saying your home is not professional, mm -hmm. but they would like it in like an actual building yeah. or like you have a receptionist mm -hmm. or something. So yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Definitely that's like a big those. that was that's like the second con with that. Uh yeah. So, I mean, I get it, not wanting to, honestly, okay, so I was able to move in nice. my suite with someone, so my rent was cheaper. Mm -hmm. That's another good idea, too. Yes. Yeah, so, Y'all should definitely look into that. That's something I didn't look into, but that's yes. a really good point. Yeah, so my rent was cheaper having, like, another person with me, so I was able to, like, move out of my mom's, like, I, well, I was working in my mom's house or whatever, <laughs> you know. Shout out to mom. I know, shout yes. out to mama, thank you know, you, helping me with my business. <laughs> but, yeah, I was able to move out, and then, so, like, if you can find, like, a partner to work yeah. with, um, then you guys can split the rent, but don't stay there for long, like, make that, like, a short-term go, like, you guys are only there for, like, six months or a year lease, and then rack up on your clients, and then keep going. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing with that is, um, I think fear will also stop a lot of people. But you, you, oh my gosh! Like I think my first suite, like the rent was maybe like five or six hundred, something like that. That's a good price. Yeah. yeah. And at first, I thought it was gonna be like so much to take on, but y'all, yeah. throughout thirty days, like you map it out based off of like your current pricing, and and th and that's another thing. Just really think about it. Like how many facials or how many appointments would I need to book? to make my rent and a little more if you're trying to you know of course you want to succeed but um if you break it down that way if you're just worried about the the rent itself that's all you got to do just break it down that way and the space it out for 30 days you could definitely do that yeah you can definitely do that mm -hmm. and yeah that actually i didn't even think about it like that mm -hmm. 
but yeah you make way over five like my rent was four hundred dollars per person because it was like 7.99 per, yeah. per month but yeah you can definitely make over that five hundred dollars in 30 days yeah even if you have a whole bunch of waxing clients yeah. like but the main thing i would say if you have a solo business is to promote on social media yes that's, that's like the biggest thing the biggest thing. the biggest thing if you're not like a person who wants to be on social media it's gonna be hard yeah. or like if you're not passing out flyers or like mm -hmm. you know it's a lot of word of mouth but like you people want to see who you are too yeah so you gotta and, be on social media what <laughs> we was on social media a lot. hard like <laughs> hard hard like now it's we okay we don't gotta show our faces as much yeah. but like before like Nobody knew who we were, so we really had to show them like who mm -hmm. we were and why they should come to us. So yes, yeah, that's that's a lot. Hey y'all. Okay, so yes, we were definitely having some camera issues at this time. <laughs> so sorry about that but if you guys definitely want to see more definitely leave you know your questions down below and we'll definitely do a Estes part two i'm super excited for you guys to see this video learn more about us and just how to become an SD, especially in our area so love you olive glow babes and yeah definitely stay in contact bye babes